What's up, guys, and welcome back to Film Student Reacts. Uh, I will be reacting to The Marvels. It has just released onto Disney Plus. I did not go see it in theaters because the last Captain Marvel movie was, uh, was mid, but not good. And the reviews for this one, kind of the same. So I'm not expecting much. I'm going in with low expectations, and I'm hoping I'm coming out with a good review, hopefully. Uh, I watched the show Miss Marvel as well. I found it very endearing. You know, it was a good show. It wasn't like blow your socks out. You know, it's a it's a coming of age kind of show. And uh, I enjoyed it, you know, even though it did get some some bad reviews as well. I thought I thought I'm in Valani who plays uh, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. I thought she did very well in the show. And apparently from reviews, she uh, kind of holds this uh, movie on her back, you know, carries it on her back like she's Luke Skywalker and the rest of the cast is uh, Yoda, you know, just tr tr trugging around through D through Dagobah. Like she's Luke Skywalker carrying everyone like they're Yoda. In, 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 in. I'm not going to try the joke again. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I haven't seen the Marvels. I want to see it. I've realized I haven't really been watching a lot of Marvel stuff because I honestly haven't really cared all that much. Yeah, it seems like it's a little oversaturated altogether, all the superhero stuff. It's just too much now. And it seems like they're kind of just shooing it in with a, a lot of these stories and it doesn't really feel like they're like they really care about, I don't know, what they're writing. So hopefully this changes my mind a little bit. Let's get right into the reaction of the Marvels. Holy shmoly, dude. Yeah, so the last Marvel movie before this was The Guardians, I'm pretty sure. And then it was a bunch of shows. Secret Invasion, Loki, and then this, right? That's Ronin's hammer. Ronin the Accursor. Hey, so I'm confused. Does this hammer just it's powerful? Or wasn't it the Power Stone? Isn't the Power Stone gone? I'm confused. Oh yeah, that's um bracelet that uh Kamala had. Right? Pretty sure. Enter Kamala Khan. <laughs> for Captain Marvel. Yeah, this was in her uh in her show. The animated stuff from her brain. Pretty fire. It's like a storyboard. Yes, that was the end of the show. Captain Marvel comes out. Swap places. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> I was like, wait, how can the cat do that? It's an alien. It's not a real cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, she could face through stuff, huh? I haven't seen her use her power since the Wanda show, right? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that, would, that is number one fear. That is uh, the biggest fear. <laughs> biggest fear of all. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's kind of OP, huh? Kind of broken, dude. Is Captain Marvel pressuring the enemy? Look, <laughs> I understand that she's an important figure and all. Is she a bad influence on you, Kamala? I would hate for your people to suffocate when I strip the atmosphere. Why is she stripping the atmosphere? How could you do this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the tentacles. Okay, new rule. No more touching shit, especially glowy, mysterious. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't. Samuel Jackson is just the goat. He's just the goat. Well, these fight scenes are gonna be kind of wild, huh? <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo. It's 
guy looks like Nightcrawler from X Men 2. She have like absorb the light. Oh, dude. Sonic boom. Damn son, that sucks. <laughs> I know that life, broken glasses life. Talking about you, so families are complicated. Facts. Families are complicated. Facts. Our susceptibility to electromagnetic energy has temporarily entangled our world lines. Yeah, that right there. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, yep. That one, that one. She got it right and ran the button, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Monica? Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's cool. It's Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sam Jackson, dude. Carrying this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Oh, it's making her powerful. She's just ripping a hole in space time, dude. What the? F That's irritating. <laughs> how do you work around that? No, how can you all it out? We need to save what we can. Captain Marvel out here just murdering people, dude. What the f? <laughs> what the f? <laughs> Ah, huh, shit. Captain Marvel will fix this. I promise. Wait, Captain Marvel killed my family. <laughs> like, what do you, what do you say to that, dude? <laughs> yeah, it feels very much so like Tony Stark and Peter Parker, their relationship. He's like, no, 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 don't trust that shit. <laughs> Three. At least she's a villain with a little more depth, right? You know, doing something for the people. Very much like Thanos. <laughs> he was for the people until he wasn't. I didn't know how to explain to a little girl. A little girl that hung on your every word. So selfish, dude. You're trying to save people, dude. Come on, dude. It gets pretty lonely out here. Anytime you need company, I will be there. I will drop everything. I will I will drop high school. <laughs> what the f <laughs> The energy from her space hammer thingy. It's called the universal weapon. Oh, really? I was going to call it Cosmo Rod. Either way. Cosmo Rod. <laughs> she had star charts and maps on the screens on her ship. Okay. To where? To the stars. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. You use it to access memories. I've been using it to regain the memories that the suit took from me. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Remember she like lost her memories, dude? F dude. What about this? There, those coordinates. Can you read that? Yes, the Magellanic Galaxy. <laughs> Just trippy. The memories are splicing! Group hugs. Solve everything. Yeah, I don't know. Should they like dig deeper on these moments or like are they trying to keep the pace faster? And I don't know. I don't know what would be better. You've been there. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> She's hella weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being hella weird about it, dude. What the fuck? I'm sure you thought this. <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> Training montage. Let's go. Yes. And now they are completely in sync. <laughs> it only took a few moments, a few little tests, jump rope tests. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs>
and they don't stop rowing. <laughs> Fucking Willy Wonka. I should warn you that I'm kind of famous here. Yeah, you do know you're famous everywhere. Right? Malag famous. I help the prince with the legal issues. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. She the queen. <laughs> Hi, small child. <laughs> Hi, small child. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Princess. Oh shit. Yeah. Yep. She got married. Your language is songs. Most of them won't understand you unless you sing. <laughs> I don't understand your accent. Pleasure to announce to this lovely room full two new faces. Bro, I'm a singer, but like, this would get irritating real fast. <laughs> what is she doing? She's respecting us all. She's going with the vibe, dude. How long <laughs> do I what the fuck is happening right now, dude? <laughs> There's a goddamn musical in this movie. I don't like it. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. We need to talk. Okay, listen. Oh, wait. He doesn't have to sing? Yeah, he's bilingual. We are. <laughs> what the? F <sighs> yes, new suit. Damn, son. Her, her suit is cleaner. Captain Marvel suit? OG Captain Marvel suit? <laughs> like Captain America, dude. They just made it more, like, you know, like more. A little, little muted color is okay. You know, I like that. Round two. Oh, they've come to eradicate the atmosphere and the water. That's right. That's right. Yo. Just hit them with the poppy ult, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's like Aizawa, my hero. My hero reference. Don't do this. It's not too late. Uh, she might just be giving her more power. Uh, yes. Ooh, are we about to get some Cap and Bucky? Yeah, this really reflects like Cap and Bucky and using a lot of like the same story points that they used in the original ones. Original movies. Let go. Bro, let go. Dude, it's not going well. I can do this and you'll kill us trying. Jump point activated. Damn, son. See, again, I, Tony had the burden of trying to save the Earth because he had that... That vision of he saw Thanos going into space, seeing Thanos and like Thanos for years, and now Captain Marvel. The guilt of trying to save all these planets. I'm the reason why the Civil War started in the first place. I'm the reason why they couldn't breathe the air. Uh, Tony with Ultron. <laughs> so, <laughs> causing Civil War, essentially. She's targeting the people that I care about and stealing resources from every place I call home. We have to walk through. Uh-oh. Uh oh, spaghettios. Yeah, who pr who's protecting Earth right now, right? There's Banner, there's Banner, like Thor's off world, Cap's gone, Tony's gone. Oh, Doctor Strange, Spider Man. These are baby gooses. Oh, that's so sketchy. Don't lose your other eye, man. Get him out. Get him out. No, 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 no. That's the plan. I'm running and let the flirtations eat you. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no, no. Oh, my God. Not like this. Not like this. Bro, that is terrifying. Yo, kitty cats for the win, dude. Kitty cat aliens for the win, dude. She wants our son. Uh, Are you yes. Don't stop. We need all help we can get. <laughs> yeah, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Round three. Fight. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wombo combo. Oh, you're giving her power. Kamala just got like super power upgrade. Holy sh That's kind of sick. How powerful is she if she's about to like close a hole in space and time, dude? Save Hala. Yo. <laughs> like, yo, son. Vitamin D. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look by the thing. I actually don't know the key. I'm just looking after it. Just until Monica gets back. Can I help you? Wait for six. Yes. Three. Oh, I know. I've been reading up on you. Where did you get that? Kind of in my couch. Chris? <laughs> what? what do you want? I'm putting together a team. I know what you want it. Please? Kids, Young Avengers. Is that actually going to happen? <laughs> Are they really going to do Young Avengers? -y? After credit scene. Come on. Be a good boy. Come on. How's our mysterious visitor? Oh, my God. <laughs> we were hoping you could tell us. All we know is that by now. Fucking the Hank McCoy. Which, of course, impossible. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Charles asked for an update. Charles. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Yes, yes. Who are you? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yes, dude. All right, that was like 10 out of 10. An after credit scene. Let's talk about the Marvels. It, um, I mean, it wasn't as bad as like everyone's making it seem to be. I enjoyed it more than some of the movies that have come out. I, I liked it more than uh, Thor Love and Thunder, and I liked it more than Ant-Man and uh, Ant-Man Quantumania. A lot, of them. <laughs> uh, a lot of these movies have felt very contained which is weird because it feels like they're, they're taking a step backwards because it feels like they've, you know, they've opened up so much within uh, the last however many years with all these movies and you would get these crossovers, random cameos that you would see over the movies. And now it feels very like, well, I mean, there are some, there were, there was that moment with, um, what's her face, the Valkyrie, the new queen of Asgard. And uh, yeah, but that's about it. I don't know, it feels it just feels like they spent so much time trying to like make it feel like this world is so good look at all these, we're gonna have all these characters talking to each other and now it's like but now there's new characters and they're not talking to each other now like shang chi and like the eternals we haven't even heard about for since the movie like no one knows about the celestial that just randomly appeared which we're not going to talk about that dude yeah you would think like dr strange would somewhat make an appearance considering that rambo had gotten her powers from the situation that happened with wanda and he just had to fight wanda and dr strange too i don't know there was just like a, a lot of these missed opportunities and maybe that was like a pacing issue that they wanted just the movie to stay very focused on on them and I, I i enjoyed it there were a lot of issues i had with it but i mean it wasn't the worst movie I, people are just crying dude i think people are just 
Marvel fatigue, superhero fatigue. So they're just like anything new. They're just like, this is trash, bro. I don't want to see it. Ugh. It's like, yeah, well, you know, it's kind of hard to top the thing that hit the magnum opus, which came to Endgame and Thanos and all that. You know, you're not going to you're not going to beat that overnight. Although with that end credit scene, I think it's very promising and seeing uh, Deadpool and Wolverine movie coming out. I'm so excited for that. You know, like uh, this, I think X-Men is going to revive the Marvel Cinematic Universe back to uh, not completely back to its, uh, you know, true form. But I think it's going to get people excited again to see these movies as, you know, I've just been waiting till they're on Disney Plus. You know, I don't really care otherwise and it doesn't really feel i guess since i'm watching it at home it doesn't really feel like i've maybe that's like a, a side to it I, I didn't spend money on this so i don't feel cheated <laughs> in any way but even if i did i, I don't I, I mean i i enjoyed it it wasn't that bad of a movie all the way how could we have to have like a singing like a musical side to this movie it didn't i didn't i just felt like someone was in the boredom like oh you know what would be funny what if they all sing huh and some was like yeah let's make them all sing this is disney this felt very disney of them to put her in a f dress and make them all sing you know she's a princess even the, the when she would transform from the the clothing to the dress it was like the in disney sparkles dude that wasn't come on stop it this is marvel all right don't and disneyfy it dude all right uh kamala was great while she carried the movie even brie larson i thought she did way more uh in this than in the original Captain Marvel movie. The original Captain Marvel movie just felt she felt so flat, and in this one she felt uh, like she had emotions, and I really, I really like that. I liked, um, you know, the turmoil that was going going on inside of her and the guilt that she felt. But again, uh, like I said during the movie, I think it's um, they're using a lot of these old things that they've done before within Marvel. Like we have Captain Marvel and Kamala, right? Just like Tony Stark and Peter, right? That whole dynamic felt very similar. And then we had her feeling the guilt and trying to stop all the bad stuff from happening because, you know, she had a vision of this. She saw this coming just like Tony saw Thanos coming. And that's all he could think about for months. And he just felt the guilt of like, this is my fault, dude. This is like, you know, am I the reason why all of this is happening? I got to be the one to stop this. Tony Stark, me. And uh, I felt like it was a little bit of that with her the whole thing enacting the civil war they, they were literally like a little on the nose with some of these things like i started the civil war it's like yeah just like tony's pretty much started the civil war by creating ultron and making the government enact that uh sokovia accords and all that stuff you know it was just uh, a lot of stuff that was just copying the homework of the past <laughs> and it uh i don't know if you don't read into it too much and you just kind of want to enjoy the movie it's, it doesn't really you know not that bad but writing wise it's like come on, guys you couldn't come up with new themes new you know and i never liked the whole i never liked the trope where someone selfishly angry just clearly selfishly angry when someone had to make the hard decision it's like come on man you're gonna make a like it's just clear you're going to make up at some point and i don't know i think it's just boring writing really not well thought out and even the villain, the villain was kind of, I don't know. I like they were trying to Thanos her. Like she had to do it for her people, but then it just became a revenge story. I, I don't know. Again, it was a, to me, this was more of just like a middle ground story. It wasn't really like incredible. It was, you know, it was okay. It wasn't, wasn't the worst. And a lot of like the, the alien designs are just like, just make them humans and paint their faces, dude. Is that that's just like, it just feels like very, like make them like tribal humans. That those are the aliens, right? It's like this, you'll see a few that are like very different. Like, oh, that's an alien. And I'm sure that's like something budget wise. We don't want to paint and create all these different aliens. But then you have like the skull race, like just make them slightly, you know, make it just like they're clearly human, <laughs> you know, like they're clearly human, just like with some painting on their face. And they just have a few that are different. I don't know. It's just a whatever. I'm just nitpicking. Um, but yeah, I give a, uh, the Marvels, uh, fucking, uh, uh, Captain, Professor, Captain, Pre Professor Marvel out of 10. I give it a, I give it a, a, a beast out of 10. A Hank McCoy out of 10. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, X-Men all day. Uh, yeah. So take care now.
مع بعض الفاتحه